A third physical application that I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, fluid force. So I've written up here our formula for fluid force and how we find the fluid force on one side of a plate that's submerged under some liquid, okay? And uh, we need to know what these different things mean. Rho uh, represents my density, uh, which is the density of the fluid that we're being submerged in. G is the force of gravity, so sometimes I just call rho times g w, which is just the weight density, typically of water, but it could be of some other fluid, uh, times the depth that you're at at the time, and this is a function of y, and then times the width. And let me just take a quick minute to explain this a little bit. Like, let's say that we have some water, and we have a plate that is underneath that water. And let's say by a plate, maybe this is a window to an aquarium, maybe this is just some uh, tile in a pool, who knows, uh, but let's say that we have this tile. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, let's <coughs> set up an origin. And one of the tricky things about fluid force problems is you can put the origin wherever you want to, and you can actually put the positive y-axis in whatever direction you want to, up or down. Uh, in this case, let's just put it down, and maybe I'll show you some examples later of ways where we could have done it a little bit differently. But in this case, let's have the positive y-axis be down. And now what I want to do is I want to say, okay, well, what is the force on this plate? And the reason why this is a little bit of a tricky problem is that the force varies depending on how far down on the plate you are. As you know, as you go underwater, the further underwater you go, the more force is put on your body, or if you are a tile, the more force is put on a tile. So at the bottom of a dam, the pressure is a lot higher than at the top of the dam. This is pretty clear. So uh, it is a function of how deep you are, how much force is being put on that plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut this plate and cut a little strip in this plate. And if we cut that strip thin enough, then the difference between the force at the top of the strip and the bottom of the strip isn't very different. If, if we kind of thought of it as infinitely thin, but not quite infinitely thin. It's basically the same force along that whole strip, okay? And so I could figure out how much force is there just on that point. Let's say that that point were at y, a depth of y, okay? Now, <clears throat> if this thing is at a depth of y, and in this case, uh, a depth of what? Let's go ahead and put the origin all the way at the top of the water. That will make it a little bit more clear because now depth and y will be the same thing. Uh, let's say if we're at a depth of y, so we're y deep, then how much pressure is there on this little strip? Well, it's the surface area of that strip times the pressure uh, at that point. Okay, and the pressure. Uh, has to do with the depth times the weight density of the water. And so what I do is I'm going to multiply the weight density of the water times the depth of that little strip times the area of that little strip. And what is the area? Well, it's the width of the strip times the length of the strip. But the length of the strip is just a little tiny change in y. And a little tiny change in y we call dy. So think of this as the pressure times the area. And pressure times the area, when we sum it all up over all depths, is the fluid force on that plate. So we could go through a, a longer process here and show that there's a Riemann sum that actually gives us this integral. And you could look in your book if you're more interested in the actual proof, but this is how we're going to calculate fluid force, is we need an integral from A to B, starting at some depth A and ending at another depth B, of weight density 
times the depth of that strip. So you're always analyzing a little strip and how deep is the strip times the width of the strip uh, dy. And you take that integral and it will give you the fluid force on that plate. 